Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So the iPhone 13 series already completed its six months life cycle. Apple celebrates and reminds us about this by launching a new shade. It is green this time. So how did my iPhone 13 Pro Max hold up after six months? What's the battery health like? And what do I do on this iPhone? Let's look at all of this in this video. First, check this out. These are the shots which I managed to get using this iPhone. And yes, all the videos on my channel starting right from the iPad mini 6 ones have been shot using this phone. And yes guys, I do run my entire YouTube channel by shooting videos on this iPhone. It was 11 Pro Max before this and now it is 13 Pro Max. And when you can manage such amazing shots, I don't see the need to switch to anything else. My model is obviously the iPhone 13 Pro Max in Sierra Blue color and the base 128GB storage option. And it has been simply perfect. Yes, low light shots need some help with studio lighting, but other than that, it has been simply brilliant. Now, pictures wise, all the thumbnails which you see since the iPad mini 6 are shot on this phone again. I usually edit them on this iPhone as well using either Adobe Lightroom or Google Snap Speed. Both are totally free apps and it works amazing. The options which you get for photo editing are plenty and you can manage to get decent looking thumbnails out of this. And it's not just that, I shoot all my YouTube shots, IG reels and TikTok videos on this iPhone and edit them here as well using LumaFusion. It is really so convenient guys and just one small device capable of all these is really amazing. We really are living in the golden era of digital content creation. So all these resource intensive tasks prove only one thing that there is absolutely no dearth of power on this iPhone. That A15 Bionic chip paired with 6 gigs of RAM makes sure to keep everything going smooth as butter. In fact, honest to God guys, right from the time I unboxed this phone till date, I haven't encountered a single app crash or even a slightest glitch. How awesome is that? I don't think you can say this about many other phones out there. Now, just one last thing about the camera is that macro photography. I personally am really loving this. It is so much fun looking at the world in a whole different perspective. Next, let's talk about storage. I'm glad that the complete iPhone 13 series starts at the base 128GB storage instead of 64. However, if you want to create digital content like me, then get the biggest possible storage you can afford or prepare to use iCloud like me iCloud stores just lower quality of pictures and videos on your phone and when you want to edit them or share them with another app, it downloads it from the cloud. This saves a lot of space on my iPhone so I can use it for other stuff. Next, let's look at battery. First, the battery health is still at 100%. However, I do follow a few tips to ensure battery health stays perfect, like not charging it up to 100%, not leaving it plugged in for the whole night and turning optimized charging on. I also try not to use wireless charging as much as possible and stick to the 20 watt USB fast charger which I purchased directly from Apple. If you check my battery stats, I'm averaging about 5 hours but at that point I still have about 45% battery left and I usually plug it in when it reaches that percentage. Now on days when I shoot 4K videos for my YouTube channel, it drains it much quicker and needs recharging. About an hour's worth of 4K video recording will reduce the battery by 35 to 40%. And it also depends on how constantly you keep the camera on. When I'm not recording, I spend time checking social media, news, YouTube videos, and making calls. You really can get almost two days out of this phone with moderate usage, and that is really pretty decent. And to keep my phone safe and free from scratches, I always use the case and the case of my choice is the official Apple silicon case in this blue J shade. After six months of continuous use, it still looks like new. I must say that this case really held up pretty well and it offers decent grip, making it so easy to handle this large size phone without ever worrying about it slipping from your hands. I also have a screen protector. This is by Spigen and hands down, this is the best screen protector I have used. It feels absolutely premium and the application process was probably the best that I have ever tried. 
I made a YouTube short about that as well. I highly, highly recommend the screen protector. And yes, it is tempered glass. And before moving on to the next section, if you like this video guys, and if you have been enjoying it so far, then a sub to this channel would be awesomely amazing. Continuing with the accessories, besides the case and the screen protector, if you don't already have a power brick, then I recommend going for the official Apple one. This costed 19 pounds. Or you can opt for reputed third-party brands like Anchor, their Nano Pro 2 costs about 17 pounds. Next, before this iPhone, I had the excellent iPhone 11 Pro Max and that was the first time I've ever used a Mac size. Be warned guys, if you switch to Mac size, you'll be hooked for life as opting for a smaller screen later will always seem like a downgrade. So does the ProMotion display. You won't realize this until you've used it. And once you use it, you're hooked for life. My wife uses my 11 Pro Max and when I recently took her phone to check something, I thought it was lagging a bit because she has the tendency to fill up the storage quite quickly. And then I realized that it was the 60 Hz display. See, iPhone with a super optimized iOS by no means is slow or stuttering. But that's the difference you'll feel once you get used to promotion. I'm never going to use a display, which is not promotion both on my iPhone and my iPad. And the problem with that is they're only offered on the high-end models. I hope Apple makes this standard across the entire upcoming iPhone 14 lineup so more people can enjoy that super, super smooth screens. Now, is there anything which I don't like about this phone? Well, there are a few small niggles. First is the weight. This really is one heavy iPhone. And you do feel it even when you're watching YouTube videos by holding the phone in your hands. Then that notch, this is year five for me seeing that same notch on my iPhone. It really is looking old school when you compare to all those amazing Android phones with full screens or even hole punch displays. I know it still houses the undefeated champion face ID system, but still think it's time Apple moved away from the notch. The early leaks of iPhone 14 are showing a lot of promise and I can hardly wait to see how that new design with the pill-shaped cutout and the hole punch is going to look like. So besides that, there's nothing else to complain. This iPhone is the best iPhone I've ever used, hands down. This is what is allowing me to run my YouTube channel and I've known other YouTubers doing the same, reaching far more success. But even without the digital creator angle of it, I love the fact that you can simply blindly rely on this iPhone and it'll never let you down. It doesn't crash or stutter or even slow down the slightest. It just keeps on going. And you can completely rely on it for gorgeous photos, for your social media sanctuary, for paying bills, for securely banking, for connecting with your family and friends, watching movies, or even keeping yourself entertained via the huge online gaming catalog. Plus, the amazing wealth of add-ons which Apple offers, like the Apple Watch or the HomePod Mini or the iPad, you can really get a complete hassle-free ecosystem that just simply works with each other without any issues. And one more thing not to worry about at all are software updates. Brands like Samsung and Google have to specifically mention about the years of software support they will offer, but with Apple, you know that you're totally covered for years to come. I mean, iOS 15 runs on the iPhone 6S. 6S, guys, that launched back in 2015. That is seven human years and probably like two decades in tech development years. So you see, this really is the best smartphone there is. I know you pay a bit more with Apple, but you get a phone which just works and it does that brilliantly. So that's all for the video, guys. I hope you liked my content. If you liked it, please hit that like button so YouTube algorithm will push it to more viewers out there. And whilst you're there, the subscribe button is just a few pixels away. Please hit that, subscribe to my channel, support me so I can keep making these videos for you. And as always, thanks a lot for staying with me until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.